What's the craziest reason you had to fire someone? I was a bartender slash bar manager. This guy came in one night and said he was an aspiring DJ and asked if we would consider hiring him to come in just on Sunday nights to DJ for us. He said we wouldn't have to pay him at first, he would just take tips and we could renegotiate after he helped to build up our Sunday night crowd. He lasted less than 3 months. He drove away so much business and I got so many complaints. He played the same songs every week and when people made requests for commonly known songs, he had no idea who they the musicians were. I had to fire someone who was working for free. He was a nice guy, which is the only reason he lasted, as long as he did. At a retail job, we had a kid come in and punch in for the day then go home. Would come back at quitting time and punch out. We use separate attendance and pay software. We had someone punch into the pay software at 5am, go home, come back and work his scheduled 5pm to 10pm, and clock out at 10pm. Opening and closing crew weren't too familiar with each other, so he wasn't caught until Big Boss, who is normally a mid, came in early one day and saw him doing it. Not my personal experience, but one fellow contractor had a safety guy for 6 months. One weekend he took a trip out of town for non-work related reasons, but used the company truck and charged it all on the company credit card. On his way up there he ran a random person off the road, who just so happened to be one of the owners of another contractor who works closely with the one who employed this guy. Shortly after he was fired, and I'm sure criminal charges were being brought against him. A couple weeks later his wife calls his former employer saying he had called her randomly and killed himself in his truck on the side of the highway. Me and another colleague went searching for records of this guy, cold and find anything no claims of a suicide in the local paper where he supposedly killed himself at. Thought it was weird, but whatever. It turns out this guy falsified all his qualifications and job experience. Fast forward a month later, and I heard through the grapevine that the original contractor who had employed this guy received a call from some contractor across country because he applied for work there and put them down as his previous employer. He faked his own death to get out of trouble with the company then proceeded to put them down on his resume not expecting anyone to check his references lol. When I worked in hotels I was promoted to front desk manager. My first task was to hire someone. I ended up getting this very charismatic guy that was a little over the top, but overall seemed like a solid employee. After I end up hiring him, and on his first day he asked me if it's okay if he carries his gun on him, and I think that's strange, but it is his right and the owners honestly didn't care, so long as he had his license. He was never able to produce a license, so he was never able to bring this handgun on the property. About a week into his employment we find out that has been calling guests specifically the really attractive females and asking them if they need any overpass service. We were very understuffed and my boss decided that instead of firing him we were going to take him off the desk and put him on basic groundsman duties. Part of these duties included driving the shuttle to the airport and back and also filling up the shuttle when it got low on fuel which means that he had access to the gas card. Our accountant confronts me one day about some very strange charges to the gas card apparently we had been filling up the shuttle near daily at anywhere between 20 to 45 dollars. We looked into it and got the surveillance footage from the gas station and it turns out was this kid filling up his friend's cars and even his own car. When confronted he tells my boss that I said it was okay. Obviously that wasn't true and they didn't believe him. He ended up also being my first termination. One of the other employees googled his name and found out he was a child predator. He was in a sexual relationship with a 12 year old girl when he was 26. I also found out that day that we did not actually do background checks we just said we did and assumed anyone with a history wouldn't bother applying. I worked retail and we had an employee that would hide and take naps inside racks of clothes. Somehow that wasn't the reason we fired her. We fired her for stealing clothes and then wearing them to work. Fired a high schooler because his girlfriend kept showing up and they would disappear behind their axe. I told him his girlfriend was banned trying to not fire him and she kept sneaking back. Worked in an office and they hired a girl from a temp agency to help me. She wouldn't do anything unless I walked her through each step after telling her she had to do it. 
Hey an estimate just arrived on the fax right next to you. Complete the quote and send it back. Come to find out she was playing spider and solitaire on her computer. She was also sneaking out back and the warehouse guys thought she was doing drugs. I told my boss get rid of her. I would rather work alone than babysit her. So he called the temp agency and told them to stop sending her. She showed up the next day, so boss sent her home, and called the agency saying hey she is useless stop sending her. She showed up again the next day. This went on for over a week. The people at the temp agency said they told her to stop showing, but she kept coming in every morning. Mind you usually 10 to 20 minutes late. My boss won't say anything to her face so finally I said hey we can't afford to pay you, so we had to let you go through the temp agency. They should have told you. She was although I thought they were joking. I was so glad she was gone. Once I had a guy call in sick to his restaurant slash bar shift right before his shift and then proceeded to show up shoot face drunk for happy hour during the time he was supposed to be working. He was not a bright man. Years ago, at a lumber company, had a guy, less than 2 hours, after he started on his first day, pick up his car with a forklift, and stand underneath it to see what was rattling when he drove. Not too crazy. More stupid than crazy. One of the programmers on my team, was sitting at his desk looking at pronoun. And this is cubicle land. No offices. My director walked into the area, to talk to me and saw it. Then it was the first thing he told me about, so I got up, and walked over for a look myself, and there it was. Me and the director looked at each, and I said I gotta take care of this. So we walked back two hours, I told them what was going on and what we saw, and they told me to fire him. So I did. He lost a $110,000 job for looking at pronoun on his computer at work. CEO ordered me to fire one of my interns, because he was trying to hit on one of the other interns the CEO had the hots for. Had to fire a guy for coming to work high on meth, and getting lost in a closet while painting it. Asked what the deal was and was told shy I'm having a conversation. That was his last Dale Mayo. We had someone fall asleep at his desk with a lit cigarette in his hand. In a office full of cubicles like maybe. 6 to 7 years ago. Smoking wasn't legal anywhere indoors let alone in an office building the mayo and the first time he wasn't even fired. He was fired when it happened again. I'm a chef at an upscale restaurant. The sauté cook has a lobster dish on his station that involves a technique called deglazing. That involves alcohol so in turn the pan catches on fire briefly and flames up. When you do it correctly hard to do it and correct the alcohol is cooked off and the flame goes out. Every time he made this dish he would deglaze the pan, catch it on fire, and then blow it out, blowing his own germs and nastiness all over someone's food and everything in the blast radius. That was a week ago. Fired him after he did it multiple times, after being asked not to. Maybe it's because of the current state of affairs, but I couldn't believe a trained cook would do that. Had an employee that was going to get fired for simply showing up late constantly with no legit reason. During the term meeting she tells me another employee cut the brake lines in her car. It's obvious this was to save her from being fired. She didn't realize that something like that gets cops involved. She was termed, and then detectives showed up to her house to get statements. Of course, no evidence of lines being cut, and now she's dealing with police for making false statements. The guy had somehow hung on by the skin of his teeth when caught making plastic model funny cars at his desk pro tip. Throwing a newspaper over the model doesn't hide the smell of the glue, but when a client called complaining about our hero trying to sell him golf clubs out of the trunk of his car, he was gone. A guy shaved slash trimmed off his pubes and left them scattered across a shared desk in a shared office. When confronted, he pulled a George Costanza. Oh, is that frowned upon? Who boy. I'd have to go with a guy who in the span of 24 hours started a fist fight with another employee on camera, with witnesses and called the police, and said the other guy did it, trying to press charges. I just sent the video. Trespassed on the property the following day, and slurred at my boss on camera, with witnesses, then called the police, and said my boss did it. I just sent the video. Hurt himself somehow, and went to the hospital, where he told the doctor had been attacked at work. 
Doc found no injury consistent with his story and well yeah, camera. I work at an art studio, where we teach classes and sell pottery, that our artists make for others to paint. I'm one of the artists and the manager. I started getting a funny feeling about one of my employees. She wasn't doing anything blatantly wrong, just seemed to work really slowly sometimes, request insignificant but kinda odd schedule changes, and have different break habits from the other staff. I started feeling like she was stealing but this is a really small business, so I didn't have her on camera or any way to really prove it. Until she accidentally sent me a video of herself painting pieces that I made from her home. Fired a guy for looking to pay someone to cast black magic on the owner and the owner's family to bewitch them into giving him a raise and, ironically, never firing him. Only reason I found out was because he asked someone else in the office for help in finding a witch doctor to cast the spells and word got round. No one wanted to be in the same room as him after that. When I confronted him, he said the devil made him do it, so it wasn't his fault. I live in the Middle East. I definitely did not wake up expecting to fire someone for black magic that day. Side note, practicing black magic is literally a death sentence here. They stole a $3 bottle of wine that could have easily put on the house check for employees. Prep cook stole a 25 pound bag of onions. One of my nurses was chasing another down the hall with a scalpel in her hand screaming at the top of her lungs I'm going to cut you beach. I was a florist and had a 40 something woman delivering for me. I received a call from the building manager of a brand new office building with only one tenant telling me my driver wrote on the elevator wall with a sharpie. They had video showing that she was the only person to use the elevator during the time the vandalism took place. The worst part for me was this happened a few days before Valentine's Day. In the early 2000s I managed a coffee shop that required the customer's names to be put on the cup. One guy looked like he was doing it, but upon closer inspection on some cups he was writing an IPA address. Turns out he was running an illegal sports book out of the shop. He did quit before I had to technically fire him because he found out I knew. A guy was hired at the metal fab shop I was working at. He had been laid off when we were slow he was rehired on a Friday, started Monday, goes and does his drug test first thing. He failed. Apparently he had celebrated being rehired over the weekend. It was funny listening to my boss say, are you kidding me? You knew our testing policy. You couldn't wait three days. I worked at a pet store and was the lead cashier, so I had to train this girl who didn't think she had to abide by the uniform because it's just store name and doesn't count as a real job. That was a warning that despite her thinking she did need to follow the uniform rules. Then when ringing up customers she actually told customers they couldn't buy certain items because we were running low and she planned on getting a pet soon and wanted these items. I apologized and rung them up. Second warning with me explaining how that's not how it works and she could shop when she's off the clock. Finally my manager fired her when she tried to steal one of the cats that were up for adoption after being told she needed to wait for approval after they do a home visit and make sure she can care for the cat. Her excuse for trying to steal the cat? Her landlord doesn't allow pets so she wouldn't be approved and she'd be a much better pet parent than anyone who else who wanted the cat and much better than any of the customers we got. The girl didn't even last a week. I work construction, and one of the subs gave me an invoice with no receipts. Turns out he wanted 30k for 4 weeks of work without paying the companies he rented equipment slash dumpsters from. I paid off the companies he owed money to, and told him to frick off. I worked at a retail store, and found one of my co-workers was using the company iPad that we used to play music and order lunches, to go on Craigslist and search for hookups. She didn't even bother to delete the search history. He worked at the company for two weeks, came to the Christmas party on Friday, got shoot-faced, told their manager that she was a slut and would die alone they had some previous vaguely romantic history, went on a couple of dates or something tried to fight two of the customer service managers who asked him to calm down, and while being escorted out he turned to the CEO and COO and told them to go frick themselves. 
He showed up to work on the Monday talking about how fun the party was, and how he had seen some people who would probably be called in Tara that morning. He was the first and only employee to be called, and was sacked on the spot. 1. He said, my ex-wife died, and there's no one to take care of our kids. Needed a week off to sort everything out. X called to talk to him. Boom. 2. One of the guys went to lunch with short hair, and came back with a ponytail down to his ass. Identical twins that were sharing the job. All the guys knew, and thought it was funny. Yikes. Harassment. He harassed virtually every person in the department on sexual, racial, and religious grounds. Human resources put up a fight, while I had people crying and quitting because of him. I didn't do the firing, but a company I worked for was growing rapidly, and needed people quickly. So, they weren't too picky in who they hired. They hired this one guy, Rick who was kind of strange. Seemed harmless enough, but he was just kind of weird and socially awkward. He started off okay, but after a couple of months, his work started trailing off. His supervisor spoke to him, to find out why, thinking maybe something at home was going on or there was some other issue. Rick said all was okay and left it at that. However, there was no change in his work. Long story short, the Lang guys started looking into his computer usage, and found that he was trying to log into pronoun sites at work, all day long, and being repeatedly thwarted by the firewall. Then he started doing searches on how to get around the firewall, then tried getting around the firewall, and then tried logging into the pronoun sites again. He did all of this on his work issued computer on the company's network on company time. Yes, after that all came to light, he was quickly shown the door for misuse of company property. Looking back, I kind of feel sorry for him. I'm guessing he was either just that stupid, or battling some kind of pronoun addiction. If he couldn't abstain for 40 hours per week. When I was working at Burger King, our restaurant manager was away on maternity leave, so we had someone from another store come in over that time to fill the role. He ended up hiring someone who had worked there 5 to 6 years previously high turnover, so a lot of hiring slash leaving. The few staff that had known her before she left hated her, but had no idea why she left. She even passed all the checks from head office before she was hired. Restaurant manager comes back about a month after she's been hired, takes one look at her, and rages. Like my RM is yelling at this girl, she's yelling at the manager that hired her, and all the crew that had known her when she was here last. Obviously none of us knew what was going on, but it turns out this girl hadn't left, she'd been fired, and management at the time hadn't told anyone that, just that she'd quit. This girl had scammed back by pretending to be pregnant fake ultrasounds, plans, baby shower, the whole lot, and then took paid maternity leave so she could go work somewhere else because it was seasonal work with better pay with the idea of having a job for the off season to come back to. I have no idea how she got through the head office checks, but she was fired that day. Super impressive when you consider that I'm in New Zealand. So getting fired is usually a month plus long process here. I work for a hotel. Had to fire two separate employees on two different occasions for letting people in vacant rooms to smoke crack and steal from the rooms. Profanity filled road rage ran through an ambulance PA system at a crowded intersection. I had complaints coming in for well over a month. Plumber me helper and I went to do a punch list at a new home. When the very attractive 20 something year old answered the door I asked what the problem was, and she said, when I take a shower, the shower head makes a whistling noise. My helper said, hell if I saw you naked, it whistled tush complained to the super. I had no choice, but to fire him. I wasn't the one who had to fire him, but reinstalled windows with a crack on his work PC, to get rid of antivirus slash administrative control. Pirated software in the dollar sign 1000 s of dollars which the PC previously had genuinely licensed and watched pronoun in the office, all on his first day of work. His direct manager didn't want him fired, because it would frick up the kid's career. Sometimes people just don't make it to day 2. Had a food and beverage manager, that brought a coffee into his, female assistant manager on inventory day when the two of them would be alone performing inventory. She drank about half the coffee, started feeling dizzy, and saw there was a heavy table pushed up against the door. 
She freaked out and got out of the area. She went to her and they tested the coffee and it was roofied. Definitely the most interesting firing I was involved in. Okay this is my cousin's story. He worked as an electrician. He and a co-worker were running some data cables in an office. An attractive young female office worker got up from her chair and left the room while co-worker was working in her office. When she returned, she found the electrician intently sniffing the seat of her chair. She complained and the guy got canned. There are several that come to mind, but I will use this one. I had to write a guy up for simply not doing any of the work assigned to him. He responded by threatening to slit my throat in the parking lot after work. This was a part-time, minimum wage position. I work as a carer for people with learning disabilities, some who are unable to carry out their own personal care or understand boundaries around their bodies. I have two stories my trainer told me exclamation point. One, a client is complaining about his groin area, repeating it doesn't look right. A male carer checks for any signs of infection, injury, or discrepancies, finds none and reassures the client. The client comes back later and tells the carer once again something is not right so the carer in his infinite wisdom undid his trousers exposed himself to the client and said there's nothing wrong with your groin area it looks just like mine too we used to use things called uridoms unsure if this is the actual name but it's what we called them which are a condom slash catheter hybrid meant to fit over the penis like a condom allowing a clear tract for the catheter my trainer asked a female carer how she was finding the application of the uridom the carer said it's easy. All I do is towel him off after a bath, ensuring I pay lots of special attention to his groin area until he is semi-hard, then place the uridom. Both of these workers could not believe they were fired. Edit. In the UK they are called uridome catheters, but there seems to be a lot of names for them. A guy told a female co-worker he wanted to take her newborn baby home with him to inspire his wife to have one. Dude was creepy as frick before that. But the complaint she made to management was what got him cut loose. He denied ever having said it, despite corroborating statements from other employees and a couple customers. She didn't show up for her first shift, then tried to blame us for it, then refused to turn in her uniform and key. First shift. What the hell lady. Okay first solo shift. She showed up for the two training shifts before that, but still I can't believe it. Manager showed up drunk to an overpass shift he wasn't working, and then got into a fight with two associates. Begged my associate manager not to tell me what happened. Didn't seem to remember there were cameras all over the store. Oh. Also the other manager at another job who sexually harassed three different employees, and got a fourth pregnant. The first three came forward once we began an investigation after the fourth told us about the pregnancy. End.